Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to draw this uh, wing design in FreeCAD. So let's see how it looks in FreeCAD. We will create it uh, based on this uh, image reference. So if you want to follow along, you can download this image in the video description. Okay, so I start by dropping the image into FreeCAD. And I double click on the image and go to the calibrate. And I click from the top to the bottom. Set it to 70 mm. Enter. Now I go up to the view, toggle the axis cross to show the arrow. Now go to the change form and type in here 90 degree and rotate it face into the front view and move this one back a little bit. Now go to the front view and uh, position the image so that the center of the hole matching the the the, um, the origin of the scene so I click ok next I go to the sketcher workbench and I create a sketch on the front front view I draw a center arc start from the center and put one point in this corner and the next point in this corner and I set the radius uh, let's try 7 ok yeah I think 7 is good let's create this line start from this point and put 2 points in here and finish uh, in here so we have the first uh, this line and I create the next base line from this point. And I also put two points here. And finish in here. Doing the same. Start from this point. Two points. Finish here. Start here. Two points here. And finish here. In this area, I start from here. And put two point here, uh, two point here, and finish here. Start from here, uh, put two point and finish here. Now I will position this point to match the the shape of the wing. Bring this point out. Okay, something like this. Next, I cry fillet. Uh, the first one is uh, this one. And this one between uh, these two this line and I come in here put another fillet and in here just a little fillet here okay something like this All right, I close that. Next, I go to the curve workbench. And let me select the image and hide. I can draw, select uh, from here and continue select down here. And this is the last curve I select. This one 
and I uh, using the joy curve, click on it. Now we have the first joy curve in the G view. I click on the joy curve and hide. And next I will uh, select this one and I create joy curve. Select this one, joy curve. And this one, joy curve. All right, now I select the sketch and hide. And select this one and I show it. Now I uh, select this joy curve and I turn that into the uh, discrete tie edge. So we have a uh, discrete tie edge in here. And I drop this one down and select the joy curve again and create another uh, discrete tie. Uh, we have two discrete tie edge. I can draw select these two and go to the view and turn the point side. To 10 to make the point size bigger, and I go to the data and turn the number to 10. Enter. All right. Next, I select the image and I show it. You can see I select the discrete I add over here, and I want to move this one in the y axis. Uh, Move this one up in this direction. So I select this one and I go to the placement position and the y axis. Let's, let's put a negative number. We try 2.5 for that. Uh, negative 2.5. And you can see this one go up. And I select this one. And move this one to the Y, 2.5. Now I select the discrete time 001 and hide. Now I go to the front view and you can see I will connect um, from this boy uh, to this corner using one freehand display. And then I skip one point and I come over here and connect from this point and to this corner. And let's uh, continue to skip and connect. And we have four freehand display in here. All right. Now I, um, I start from this point, select this point, and control select this corner and freehand display. Now I click and hold in this freehand display and I hit I to insert a new point. And click on this point and move this one up. Hit Z to constrain it on the Z axis, somewhere around here. And hit Q to confirm that. Doing the same, I uh, skip this point and start from this point. And click on, uh, you can follow the curve in here. And you click on the middle of this curve over here. And create a uh, for him display. Now I click and hold and hit I to insert a new point and select this point and move this one up. Hit Z to constrain on the Z axis and hit Q to confirm that. Keep doing that. In this case, uh, I after I, I hit I and insert a new point, I want to move it to the left. So I click and hold it, hit, uh, hit S to constrain it on the S axis. Somewhere around here, hit Q to confirm that. And skip one point and come to this point and this curve and create freehand display. And click and hold, hit I, and click on this point and move it to the left, hit S, hit Q to confirm that. Now we have for freehand display look like this. Next, I um, select the discrete try edge and I hit space bar to hide it. And click on the discrete try 001 and show it. Now I go to the front view. Right now, I 
uh, I also want to hide this curve, so I select this curve and hide. I uh, start from this point, right? Now I can draw selecting uh, this curve over here, this corner over here, and uh, create in this block. Click and hold, hit I, and click on this point, and move this one up, hit Z, hit Q to confirm that. This one and this corner. Hit I, uh, sorry, in this block. And click in how hit I and click this one. Move this one up, hit Z. Sometimes we just um, select the edge. So you just move this one back to the um, the first position and hit Q to confirm that. And click on this one and double click to reposition it again. That's all right somewhere around here. Hit Q to confirm that. And the last one, this one and this corner. Uh, put in this black. And click and hold, hit I, hit S, right, hit Q to confirm that. Okay. Now I click on the image and hide. I go to the front view. Now I click on the uh, this creature at and I hide. In uh, the front view, I control select this uh, this one, and continue to select in sequence. On of this point here. And I cry free him this fly for that. Hit Q to confirm that. Right. Let's go to the front view and control select this edge. And then this one. And use the golden surface for that. And we can see we have uh, the wing look like this. I click on the dragon wing and then I show it. I click on the golden surface and I hide the uh, curve in here. All right. That's uh, to create the thickness of. Uh, the wing, I just select um, the golden surface and I go to the part bench and let's extrude it to uh, 3 and uh, in the y axis, hit OK. I think uh, y is a little bit too much. Let's uh, click on the extrude and go to the data. Let's turn it to 1.5. Just something like this. Yeah. Next, I will create the part in the middle. I go to the sketch open. Bring this cut in the front view. And just make a circle. Um, something bigger. This one. A little bit bigger. All right, and also uh, let's create a circle in the center here. Something like this. Now close that. Uh, let's uh, select this get and go to the part of bench and let's draw this one to uh, uh, six. Okay. Click on this one and go to the symmetry. Set it to two. I think I should change it to eight. Uh, let's try ten. Go to the left view and click on this one. Go to the transform and move this one to the middle. All right. The translation increment is now one, so I can put it like this. 
go to OK. Uh, let's go to the fill app. Select this edge. Uh, let's try to select uh, this edge first. And this edge. Let's go to the fill app. Uh, let's try. Uh, let's try one. And also, um, this one and this one. Fillet it with uh, two. Uh, maybe three. Be too much. Uh, Two. Double click on it. Let's turn it one point five. I think uh, still too much. Let's try one. Okay. Yeah, I think one is good. Now I will combine them together. And also select this two and go to the union. Select this fusion and go to the uh, view. The division down to zero point zero one. All right, so let's uh, select the fusion and hit Ctrl D to go to the display property and set the material to go. Close that. So this is the final result. So thanks for watching. And if you like it, you can uh, give me a like and subscribe. Thank you.